This is Geometry Chapter 2-2. We're going to talk about conditional statements. So we're going to talk, as it says here for topics, we have a conditional statement and we're going to break it up into two portions, the hypothesis and the conclusion. Then we're going to learn about negation, the converse, the inverse, and the contrapositive of the statement. So a conditional statement starts out with an if and then you're going to conclude something. So under, underlined in one line in blue is the hypothesis. If a quadrilateral is a square, that's the hypothesis. That's what you're starting out with. And then you're going to conclude, your conjecture, your conclusion is, is that it has four congruent sides. Now, is this a true statement? If a quadrilateral is a square, that it has four congruent sides. Yes, yeah, squares have four congruent sides. So that is a, is a true statement. There is no, no counterexamples. We'll get to that in a second. So here, I'm going to change, you know, have another sentence here. So it says, if it is cloudy, then it will rain. Well, a counterexample would be, what if it's a cloudy day and there's no rain? So this is not a true statement. Okay. Here's another conditional statement. If you're a teenager, then you can't vote. Well, what if you're 18 years old? You can vote in America at 18 years old. So that's not a true statement. It could work if you're 15 years old, but the thing is it said you're a teenager. 15 is a teenager, 18 is a teenager. So therefore, since you can come up with an example that shows that it's false, then the statement entirely is false. Okay, negation. I started out with a, with a statement up above, and then I do the negation so you have something to compare against. So above, if the C is green, then there is algae. And the negation would be you just stuff in a word for, you know, not. You make it so then now if the C is not green, then there's algae. That's negating it. Okay, so we're going to now talk about a converse. Converse is when you switch the order of the hypothesis and the conclusion. So in the top there, it shows that, um, sorry, dog started barking, distracted me. If a quadrilateral is a square, then it has four congruent sides. That's your original statement. Now, the converse is you swap the position of the hypothesis and the conjecture or the conclusion. So now it's going to be if a quadrilateral has four congruent sides, the four congruent sides was part of the conclusion, then you're going to conclude that it's a square. Well, is that a true statement? Sometimes the converses are true and sometimes they're not. So let's think about this. If a quadrilateral has four congruent sides, then it is a square. Well, a rhombus has four congruent sides. Let me try to quick squeeze one into there. Um, give me a moment here. If you have this figure where all the sides are congruent, and it's a quadrilateral, but it's not a square. So this is a false statement. And what I just did was a counterexample. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, we're doing an inverse. Okay, so we're starting off with the same original state, you know, statement. We've got if a quadrilateral is a square, then it has four congruent sides. The inverse, you negate both the hypothesis and the conclusion, and you keep them in the same order that they were. So you're going to say if a quadrilateral is not a square, then it does not have four congruent sides. And then we got to search for a counterexample to see whether or not this, this statement is true. Let's see, a quadrilateral that is not a square. I'm going to pick, once again, a rhombus. So that's a quadrilateral that's not a square, but it does have four congruent sides. So that would be a counterexample to prove that this inverse is not true. Okay. Uh, let's see, if a quadrilateral is square, then it has four congruent sides. Contrapositive. Contrapositive. You write the converse, which means you're flipping the order of the hypothesis and the conclusion, and then you're negating it as well. So then you take the statement up above, we're going to switch the order here, and then you're going to negate them as well. So it's going to be, if a quadrilateral does not have four congruent sides, so it does not have what's part of our conclusion, then it is not a square, which is part of our hypothesis. Got a table coming up that has a quick summary of all this. Yeah, here it is. So look, a statement. You're going to say if condition P is true, then Q is true. A converse, as I stated before, you switch 
the positions of the hypothesis and the conclusion and write your statement. And then the inverse is you stick with what the original statement was, you just throw some knots in there, so if a not T and then not Q. And a contrapositive, you rewrite the order P and Q as a converse and then throw some knots in front of it. That's basically it in a nutshell. So thank you for watching this video.